Welcome back to my channel. So today we are painting. I'm gonna start this Paint With Me series with the palm tree painting that I showed you guys last week. So I'm gonna go get my paint palette from the fridge. Yes, the fridge. If you're curious to know why I keep it in the fridge, check out my other video on how I set up my palette. I'll be right back. I left it in the fridge for about a week and we're just gonna see the consistency of it. So it's still really workable. I can feel that the palette is still moist and our paints are workable. These are the paints that we're gonna use. I'm gonna be using the finer tips because we are going to be painting this. This is the first time I've ever done a paint with me and I will caution you because I have honestly I don't usually talk while I paint. I feel like I have that like scowling face, but we shall see. Cause I think this could be a really fun series. Hopefully it won't be too bad and it won't be too long unless you guys really like process videos and just you paint and I paint and we're painting together, but not together. So this is what we're gonna be finishing today. I started this back in May and now it's time to finish it. So grab your paint and let's get started. I'm gonna try to talk through my process as much as possible and then maybe sprinkle in some time lapse. I'm gonna pick up where I left off and start with the darker tones. My hand is shaking. What projects are you guys currently working on? Tag me at Kyphonated on Instagram. I'd love to see what you're working on. That way I don't feel like I'm just talking to the camera, even though I am. You see how these leaves are a lot bigger and fuller and these ones are a little bit wimpy? I'm just gonna fix them. It's really hard for me to talk because my hands shake when I'm talking. Do you guys like painting plants too? And if you guys have like an art Instagram, let me know. Why did I do palm trees? These leaves are gonna take me forever. But I guess that's good, right? That's practice and patience and dexterity and steady hands. I think it might be easier if I turn this upside down. Hold on a second. So if you guys didn't know, this painting is part of a three-part series. You saw the other one that I finished, which were the banana leaves. These are the palm tree leaves, and then the next one is a monstera. So my thinking behind it is the banana leaves are the ones that I started with. I grew up in the Philippines. I came here when I was 11 and when I was younger, we would use the leaves to eat off of. It's like a, it's a thing we do. And we still do it here. My mom loves to cook a lot of Filipino food and then we eat with our hands. So that is nostalgic to me. And then, of course, the one that I'm working on right now are palm trees for having lived in California since I was 11. And this became my new home. So that's the second part. And then the third part is a Monstera Deliciosa. I'm not really quite sure where I'm gonna live in the future. My thinking behind it is past, Philippines, banana tree, present, California, palm tree, future, monstera, because I'm gonna be a hermit. <laughs> I'm just gonna have plants indoors. <laughs> No, really, that's the thinking behind it. <laughs> so it's about like 
lunch time. I'm gonna make some salad and we'll be right back. Felt like it was a good time for a break, right? For some salad. I'm done with lunch, let's get back to painting. So I got this trick from Mark Carter on YouTube. Basically, he says to have a designated brush for each of your values so that your highlights don't get muddy and your shadows don't get milky. and I have a desk and both of which work perfectly fine but for some reason I enjoy just being this close to my painting and just having it on my lap you know the painting process is really slow <laughs> like it's really entertaining to watch the time lapse but in actuality it's it's this slow I'm just adjusting the values on some of this because I don't know if you can tell but right here it's really transparent and so I've done it on this side and I've also clustered some of the leaves together so that I can achieve that graphic kind of look instead of it being realistic because I think it was leaning more towards that so yeah, this is what I like to do on the weekends usually. I'm a hermit, guys. I just sit in my studio and paint. Thank you guys so so much for painting with me for hanging out with me and sticking through the end of this video i know for you it's probably just 10 minutes but really it took me the week to finish it i couldn't sit down and focus for the week because one of my co-workers was leaving and i was really sad so it's fine anyway ta-da this is our finished painting. It doesn't look like it, it looks really simple, but I was struggling a lot. This is part one of the series, this is part two, and the third one, as you guys know, is gonna be the Monstera. So hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on that one. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. The last thing that I'll need to do for this guy is to sign it and apply varnish to it. Let me know what you guys suggest, matte or gloss. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Yeah, that is it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want more art, plants, and stuff. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Kyphenated if you haven't already for more art, plants, and stuff. Smile more often and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!